welcome to another sunny afternoon. Today I'm going to be giving you some <coughs> DIY tips to help you around the house and garden. As you can see, I've been painting this umbrella stand and making it look lovely and red. Now, if you're an unprofessional, you should really put newspaper or cardboard or a bit of cloth underneath so you don't get red paint on your Black & Decker workstation. As I am professional, I don't need to worry about that. Today we're going to look at some power tools and how to use them to uh, improve things around the house and garden. First of all, health and safety. It's very important that you wear a hard hat. I've got my hard hat here, which I bought from Poundland. I can't remember how much they were, but this will protect me from things falling on my head. Next thing to think about is obviously protecting the eyes. So I have my safety goggles here, which just poke me in the eye as I put them on. And because it's sunny, I'm going to be wearing sunglasses over the safety goggles. Now we're going to look at some power tools and see what uses they can be. The first thing I'm going to show you is this. I bought this about two years ago in a hardware store. Not really sure what it's for. It didn't come with any instructions at all. It's never made that noise before. I think I'll put that one away. It might be a bit dangerous. Another power tool that could be useful. This is called a jigsaw. Again, obviously it's a saw. The reason it's called a jigsaw is when you first buy it, it has all sorts of bits that you have to put together. I'm not quite sure what this bit is, but I think it's a security tag. So we don't need that bit, so we just cut that off. Before we go on to saws, you've got to be very, very careful because these saws can really damage your hands or your fingers and your arms if you don't know what you're doing. So the first thing I use before I use a saw is I use this hand sanitizer. Very flexible. Can also be used as a topping on an omelette as I showed you in the video the other day. So always keep a bottle of this aside. Also, in case you do cut your hand or your fingers, you could bleed quite profusely. To avoid that happening, I use these blue toilet rolls. They can be used to wrap around fingers or they can be used as a project today. It's uh, an old table which I'll show you that we've had for years. As you can see it's gotten quite rotten on the feet there. Also although this table has always been kept indoors in the conservatory you'll notice that we've got moss growing out of it. Now a lot of people just throw this table away, say it's not worthwhile doing. But I'm going to be using a couple of tools to basically completely recondition this table. The first tool I'm going to be using is a hammer. That's a hammer. I've also got another hammer. This is a bigger hammer and this hammer is called a bigger hammer. Now, if you'd like to come back in a few minutes and see what a good job that we've done restoring this old table. And here we have it. Here we have the end result. I just need to finish it off there and you can see it's beautifully varnished on a hot day like this you can put the varnish on and within about 30 seconds it's dry I'll turn it round for you so you can see it all the way round you can see it's got legs it's got one two three 
four legs. But they, the old legs were round, but I squared them off to give them a much better feature. So thank you very much for watching the video. I hope this will help you restore old pieces of furniture that you've got. Important thing, stay safe, stay well. See you on the next video. Bye.